Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. It is another preview. It's Tranmere versus Liverpool, our second pre-season game of the 2018-19 campaign. Uh, we obviously dispatched Chester 7-0 in the first one. New signings, Naby Keita and Fabinho making their first appearances in the red of Liverpool. There's also some impressive displays in the likes of Curtis Jones, Harry Wilson uh, on the youngsters' front, but Daniel Sturridge is probably the man that um, had the most people talking after that 7-0 win. Two goals for him and just an all-round you know, generally really, really impressive display. Uh, suddenly everyone's talking about him maybe being able to resurrect his Liverpool career. Obviously, don't want to overreact that on the basis of that one performance. Uh, but, you know, who knows? It's not as if he's in his 30s, you know, and um, over the hill. He still could have, a, you know, a role to play in this Liverpool side. We're not likely to sign a number nine this summer. Um, so I'm excited to see how Sturridge plays in these next few games. Um, I'm sure he'll go on the tour as well. And there's always a chance for people to impress. So... Um, let's see who is the one or several that are able to impress against Tranmere Rovers on Tuesday night. This was obviously supposed to be a game on Wednesday, uh, but it's a move forward so that people can watch the England game. Um, for those that want to watch the England game against Croatia, I'm sure whether you want England to win or not, you'll be watching it because it's the World Cup semi-final and it's not every day England they're in a semi-final, so it's also... Very exciting on that front. Um, now, if you've not seen my Chester vlog, please do go, go and watch it. It's, um, it's just great to be back watching the Reds. Uh, it was a lovely sunny day. It was a nice game of football. I met you at Klopp for the second time, which was awesome. Um, I've also written a piece. I've not done any writing in a long time, but if you do follow me and you like my videos and you want to see more um, of my sort of content, then just head to the link in my description. I'll put a link to my blog in there from Chester, um, just sort of talking about the day out and my thoughts on the game. Just a bit of extra written stuff for you if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway. What am I looking to see out of Tranmere following up from what I saw at Chester? Obviously, um, some perform better than others. It's always going to be the case. Some people just manage to get up to speed quicker than others. I mean, I thought James Miller looked like he'd never been away. Um, but some looked a little light. I mean, Ben Woodburn, I know he's playing a lot deeper on Saturday, but I thought he w was noticeably struggling. Um, on the ball, his passing was just off. I I'm not sure whether he's suited to a role in that kind of number eight or was number six at times position. Um, Diva Carigi and Dominic Solanke, I thought, put themselves about quite well, Carigi in particular, but they never really showed much in front of goal that left you convinced. So, I mean, Solanke in particular had one chance quite early on and he literally uh, kicked his, um, his his left foot, touched the ball and he just kicked his he kicked himself in the foot basically and fell over. I mean, it was like a completely embarrassing moment for him. But, you know, you just want to see the likes of Riga and Slanky start banging in the goals. Um, obviously, Harry Wilson did that with a plum. There's a lot of talk around him. Um, he was uh, doing interviews after the game with LFC TV and I sort of stuck around to see what's going on. So one of the fans just asked him, Are you going to go back to Hull? And he was like, I don't know. I, I mean, he has no idea where his future lies. Liverpool have already turned down an approach from Celtic to take him on loan. Everyone in the Championship wants him as well. Obviously, they've seen what they did with Hull last season, scoring all the time. And they want a piece of that. Um, but he, as is, is openly said, he wants to impress Jurgen Klopp. He's 21 years old now, so it's not as if um, he's, he's, a, he's a teenager that's got many, many loan spells left in him and lots of time left. I mean, if he's going to be breaking into this Liverpool side, he needs to do it pretty quickly. The same goes for Shea Ojo, who I thought played pretty well in the second half against Chester. Um, Danny Ings, his time probably is up. Lazar Marcos didn't even get on, his time probably is up. But, you know, for some there is a chance to resurrect that career. And as I mentioned, Daniel Sturridge, I mean, his first goal against uh, Chester was vintage Sturridge, just kind of making a good run into a box, uh, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and a nice little left foot finish. The second one was the one that really got us all drooling. It was sort of 20 yards out. He just looked up, no back lift, and just bend one into the bottom corner. Lovely from Daniel. And... You know, I'm not sure whether Jurgen will mix the teams up a bit, whether he'll maybe want to see Keita and Fabinho play together, maybe he'll want to see Sturridge and Solanke play together, or um, different sense about partnerships, maybe. Um, we know Van Dijk and Van Aldem are back in training. It's unlikely that they're going to feature against Tramir. They will be safe, but Barry by the looks of things, that is what was um, forced online earlier. So um, probably see another couple of youngsters at centre-back. Chirivella even played a second half at centre-back against Barry, so that's the situation there. I thought Camacho got forward really well um, on Saturday, but Nathaniel Klein obviously is a right back that everyone's going to have their eye on. He was one of the most impressive players in that first half. He got forward really, really well down the right-hand side. Um, obviously, we know Trent is our first-choice right back at the moment. He kind of swapped 
with Gomez here. They alternated last season, but I think Trent probably just shaded it in terms of who had the better season. It was obviously an injury plagued season for Gomez come the end of it, but I think regardless, Trent would have been the one trusted uh, in those latter games in the Champions League. Nathaniel Klein did um, get back to fitness before then, but Trent you know, obviously as a reward for his good form, uh, you know, keeping up with likes of Leroy Sané, but I think just on merit in general, kept his place and played in that Champions League final, that experience will be invaluable for him. He's currently at the World Cup as well with England. So, I mean, he's going to come back with all the experience in the world at such a young age. Um, so, I mean, his future's really bright. Nathaniel Klein's got to have a good pre-season. Trent's obviously going to have a long rest. Um, so, it's, it's Klein's opportunity to show why he should be the starting right back. Let's not forget, we signed him for a fair amount of money when he first joined. Um, he's an England international himself. Um, he's he's a high calibre player, um, and I, you know I don't want to see his future away from Merseyside. Um, also, the likes of Adam Milana. I mean, he's back in training. He wasn't quite ready for Chester. I'm not sure whether he's going to feature here. Uh, he's another one who. I mean, this is a big pre-season for him. Um, obviously, Cater's in, Fabinho's in, Oxo Chamberlain um, is out injured, but his stock's high. So maybe Lalana is kind of touch and go whether he does stick around. He needs a really good preseason. I'm sure he'll be on the tour as well. Um, it would be nice to see him feature against Tranmere. And you know, I think other than that, I mean, James Milner. I can't see him going anywhere. I think he is completely safe. Even Alberto Moreno, who uh, at this time last year we thought there was no way back for. Where there was loads of clubs in Syria bidding for him. I think Watford were linked as well. I mean, he was even captain for the first half against Chester, so I think he's probably safe as our second choice left back for this season. Um, so yeah, it's all down to everyone to impress the goalkeepers. I mean, neither of them had much to do against Chester, and I imagine it'll be the same here. Um, but I mean, the video doing the rounds of Karras in the warm-up doesn't help his cause. Not that Klopp will pay much attention to that, but just from a fan's point of view, everyone's obviously seen that um, him dropping one in the net um, in the warm-ups. I mean, that is just not the best way to start. I mean, Karras had a stand innovation, um, or maybe that's taken a bit too far, but he, he was well greeted um, on Saturday. So, you know, at least there's that. Um, and he didn't concede any goals. So let's hope he can keep that confidence building throughout the next few weeks and these next few games. Um, and then we obviously head to, um, after Tram, we head to Bury, then it's Blackburn, and then it's uh, the, the big games on the tour, the, the higher caliber of opposition. So interesting to see what happens. Um, I'm expecting a very similar um, game in terms of two different 11s. I'm expecting the level of opposition to be a slightly better. You know, Tranmere um, are slightly higher caliber than Chester. I mean, ever so slightly. Uh, they got promoted to League Two last season, um, but they're still pr pretty alehouse. No, no, no offense to them, uh, but McNulty still, st still there. So, um, you know, I think there'll be pr plenty of entertainment and plenty of physicality when, when he's near the ball. But yeah, I mean, I mean, the Reds should should be okay here. I think uh, if they can get away with a nice another clean sheet, just dominate the ball again, get plenty of players uh, an opportunity. Ryan Ken was another one that scored at the weekend. You know, it'd be nice to see him build on that. Although I wasn't impressed overall with his touch. Um, compared to some of the other guys that played on the wing. Um, but I'm expecting a, a nice another routine win. Let's go, let's go for 4-0. Let's go for Daniel Sturridge to score another couple and Harry Wilson to get another couple. That's my prediction. Uh, leave your thoughts, uh, your comments and your overall kind of things you want to get out of this game, your starting lineup, um, who's going to impress, all of that sort of stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on my blog that I've written as well, on Medium, as I say, the link is in my description. And anything else you want to see from me this season. Do you want to see a podcast? Do you want to see me live stream more often? Um, what do you want to see in the vlogs? Just anything you want, because this is the time to tell me before the season starts. Um, and if you're new here, then please do subscribe to the channel for more previews, vlogs, match reviews, transfer news, all that sort of stuff. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, particularly Instagram. Very active on there at the moment. Uh, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.